Jenny Eclair joins me like, no, you like Christmas, every woman can identify with that. Completely. Yeah, that, um, that clip came in a little bit late because I, I come on dancing in my pants, right. which is a triumphant moment for me. <laughs> it's a quite of the audience go, whoa! <laughs> that was uh, filmed at the you. Melbourne Comedy Festival. This is uh, the How to Be a Middle-Aged Woman, yes. open brackets without going insane, close brackets, uh, which I prove every night cannot be done. I have to say congratulations to you because you got married. Yes. You said you wouldn't and then you did. Why did no, you? Why did you? Well, um, my financial advisor. No, there were lots of reasons why. We, you know, we, we had to tidy some... It was getting untidy, really. And uh, no-one else would have us. And um, <laughs> I don't know. It was... It, it felt, after 35 years, um, that we weren't rushing into things. And at least, no, yeah. you know, you when I went down it. the aisle, <laughs> nobody could say, oh, do you think she's pregnant? Do you think, <laughs> do you think this is a bit shotgun? Uh, there was none of that oh, going on. Good. And a lovely day. It was a very sweet day. It was very, day. very tiny. So if there's nice. anybody watching going, oh, but I wasn't invited. Nobody was invited, so oh. don't worry about it. Oh, there's our Phoebe. Yeah, That's she was invited. Yeah. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, yeah, she was my bridesmaid. She kind of frog-marched me up the aisle. Oh. Um, How yes. lovely. So a lovely family day and just a celebration. And these are your wedding shoes? They are my wedding I don't know if they can... I love uh, you know, Be very shoes. careful how close you go in because I've got terrible fake tan ankles. Um, <laughs> and I, I, I don't know how to... Sorry, but they've got lobsters on they there. They have got see. lobsters on. And I, did, I tweeted, uh, the, the wedding was very, very secret, but I did tweet after uh, we'd done the yes. dastardly deed. <laughs> uh, and I just tweeted my left hand with this blue nail varnish on. And uh, quite a lot of my friends didn't know, they just thought I was showing off my nails. Ah, they didn't they notice didn't the, the ring, the ring right. uh, even though it is the world's loveliest ring. And, uh, but, again, very bad fake tan hands. They're not bad. They're orange. They're not bad, Jenny. They're not... I never wash my hands after a fake tan. I'm a bit of a slob, what can I say? It's fine. Best from a distance. Yeah, it's all right. Hey. Look, tell me about this. Tell me about uh, listening in. Yes. Stories by Jenny Eclair, because this is kind of kind of based on the Radio 4 series. I've had a Radio 4 series for a couple of years yeah. called Little Lifetimes, mm. which are monologues, which I wrote for myself, and then the producer uh, said, listen, I can get better actresses than you to perform these. Well, that's kind. And, and then promptly got people like... Francis Barber, wow. Imelda Staunton, oh, okay. Josie Lawrence, um, Leslie Sharp, Leslie Manville, uh, just brilliant, brilliant yeah. women. I mean, you know, it's one of the joys of doing Radio 4 is people will work for barely anything. <laughs> um, and then I, I'm meant to be writing another novel. I've written four novels and um, Moving was my fourth and I'm not prepared to write another novel until something as good as that comes along. Okay. So uh, this is a sort of in-between. I've got the collection of short stories, yeah. so I wrote seven completely new ones for mm. the collection and uh, we just decided to put them together. It's a bit of a sort of homemade project, this, because I've done the illustrations. You have. There's yeah. a budgie in but here. My, you my, my, it's anatomically nice. quite incorrect, the budgie. Well, I think well, it's Well, don't rather... come too close. All right. Um, <laughs> but you did all the illustrations I did all of them. Nobody else would put their name to them. <laughs> They're all mine. I think See, that's great. No, what it is, is um, I'm very bad at drawing an art, but I find it it's terribly important to me. I, I had very high blood pressure. And so, um, yeah, on medication, but they obviously, you know, dealt with it. But I needed to find things as well that calmed me down. So drawing, and I do, I'm going to an art class after this, you Good know. I've got, you. yeah, Tuesday mornings. Fantastic. Got a couple of hours, got a watercolour class. <laughs> yeah. I think that's great. Uh, it's Good for the soul, yeah. And I, I, gen I can feel, I can feel everything sort of slightly go, ah when I've got a paintbrush yeah. in my hand. So, unfortunately, I'm very I'm good with colour and they couldn't afford to put colour into the book. Right. Apart from the cover, which is a bit lurid, and I'm sorry about that. But I that's did, that. did you do that as yeah, well? Yeah, I did that as well. You did but the cover we, yeah, I'm bit, every time I look at that, I go, whoa, that's quite bright. No, but that bit will um, stand out in the yeah, shop. Yeah, that's what my daughter said yeah. rather kindly when I was... Because your daughter read it, didn't she? She's kind of... I mean, she's a writer herself. Yeah, she's a, she's a very clever writer, though. The story's... Uh, about middle-aged women and they're, they're, some of them are quite bleak and they've got beginnings, middles and yeah, ends. I mean, uh, the, sometimes what I get frustrated with short stories is they meander a bit and they don't seem to have a point or a punchline. Indeed. But I think when you're very used to doing stand-up, it's... You can do go that. To, that you go to the sense. end. Makes it and, um, yeah, they're... Um, and I've got a new series of Listening In on Radio 4 later this year, which Great. will be... Yes, yes. And I'm hoping to write a, another book. Uh, when, it's, when the time is right, it'll, Well, it should be now. I stopped gigging uh, for the summer on Sunday night. I did my last one right. uh, for three months. So I've got this window now. Um, and... <laughs> And if I don't write a book, I'm going to have to go to an exercise class. And I, I can't see Come that happening. Come with me. I saw those moves. 
Oh, yeah. I saw those moves. You uh, can come with me to my class on a Monday and a Wednesday. I'm untrainable, though. No, you, no Maxine I'm Jones will sort you out. Very free She'll style. Sort you out, I'm telling you, and, you'll be, and, and it'll be even more of a revelation to your audience. <laughs> Jenny, it's always a joy. Thank you so, well, it's so much. It's lovely to see you again. Good luck with the book. Good luck Thank with you. everything. Love the shoes. Thank Amazing you. Amazing shoes.